two children are riding a sled down a snowy hill that is sloped at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. The friction between the sled and the snow is negligible. What is this sled's acceleration? First, let's picture that. We have a slope and it has an angle of 30 degrees, let's call that theta, above the horizontal. The sled is on this incline. This is the sled. And there are two children sitting on it. And we're supposed to find what is the acceleration of that sled down the incline. The first thing we're doing here drawing a free body diagram. Now it is important that we choose one of the axes in direction of the expected acceleration. This will make life easier with the algebra. Let me indicate here with a dashed line what vertical is and the horizontal line what horizontal is. Now the surface of the slope is this here. And the sled will continue to move down along the surface of the slope. So therefore, I choose this here as the positive x direction, going in the downward direction. Consequently, then, the y direction has to be perpendicular to x, and it is perpendicular to the surface of the slope. This here, again, we identify by comparing the two pictures. This is the angle theta, 30 degrees in our case. Which means also this here is the angle theta. It's the two intersecting lines. Then we can identify also that we have the angle theta here again. And also this is the angle theta. The slab and the two children now is just the mass here at the center of the coordinate system. Now let's draw in all the physical forces which are acting on the slab. First what we have is we have the weight equals mg acting downward. We have the normal force, and if we have a normal force is perpendicular to the surface, so along the definition of our y-axis. This is what the word normal means, perpendicular to the surface. We now see that the normal force is in the y-direction. However, the weight has two components, one component in the x and one component in the y-direction. We need to find these components. The x component is a line which is parallel to the x axis and intercepts the y. This here is the x component of the weight. And consequently, this here is the y component of the weight. So we see that the x component of the weight it is opposite to the sine or opposite to the angle theta so it is the magnitude of the weight times the sine of theta and because we have to find positive x pointing downwards it is positive so we have then m g times the sine of theta the y component of the weight is now the weight times the cosine of theta. The y component is adjacent to the angle theta. When we look at it, it is also on the negative side on the y axis, on the negative side of the x axis. So it is a minus w times cosine theta. So it is minus mg cosine theta. Obviously, there is no x component for the normal force. The normal force is strictly pointing in the y direction. So the y component of the normal force is just plus the magnitude of the normal force. Now we're ready to apply Newton's laws. Start with the 
the x components first. The sum over all forces in the x direction equals m a x. And that is what we need to find. We need to find what the acceleration is along the x direction. Because of the choice of our coordinate system, the sum over all forces in the y direction equals m a y with a y equals zero. That means that the slab always stays on the surface of the slope. The y direction is y is now measuring the distance from the surface of the slope, and the distance of the, from the surface of the slope always stays at zero. That means a y is zero as well. Let's look at the x direction. In the x direction, we have to add up the x component of the normal force plus the x component of the weight, and that equals m x. Now the x component of the normal force is zero, and the x component of the weight equals mg times the sine of theta, and that equals m a x. So we can divide this left and right by the mass, and what we can get is we get g times the sine of theta equals the x component of the acceleration. What do we get if we calculate this? So from that it follows then ax equals 9.81 meters per second squared times the sine of 30 degrees. And if we calculate this, we get 4.91 meters per second squared. We didn't need the y direction at all to find the acceleration along that slope. But let's briefly evaluate this anyhow. In the y direction, we have my plus wy equals 0, because a y equals 0. So ny is just the magnitude of the normal force. The weight, the y component, is minus mg times the cosine of theta, and that has to be zero, which allows us now to find the normal force, which would then be mg times the cosine of theta. Let's evaluate this. Let's look at what happens if the angle theta goes to zero. What happens to AX? That, from that it follows that AX then goes to G times the sine of zero degrees, and the sine of zero degrees is zero, so this is zero. That means the acceleration is zero on a level plane, so the slope is zero. That makes sense. What happens to the normal force in this case? For the normal force in this case, it goes to mg times the cosine of 0 degrees, and the cosine of 0 degrees is 1, so it goes to mg. The normal force is just the weight on the level plane. This makes sense as well. What happens if the angle theta goes to 90 degrees? Then the acceleration goes to g times the sine of 90 degrees, and the sine of 90 degrees is 1, so the acceleration will be g. The slat on the vert vertical wa wall will just fall. That's free fall with g. Positive because we define positive going downwards. The normal force in this case goes to mg times the cosine of 90 degrees, and the cosine of 90 degrees is 0, so the normal force is 0. There's no normal force if the sled falls down the vertical wall.